Now we discuss three mark question, which was asked in the board examination on March 2012 and July 2017. And it is state Kirchhoff's law of radiation and prove it theoretically. Now we have to state and prove Kirchhoff's law simply. Now see here, the statement for the Kirchhoff's law. Symbolically, it is A is equal to A. A is the coefficient of absorption, E is the coefficient of emission. And this A and E equal at a given temperature. So you can write at a given temperature, coefficient of absorption is equal to coefficient of emission. So this is a statement for Kirchhoff's law. Now let's see the proof. So we consider two bodies enclosed in a constant temperature enclosure, which are shown below. So this is body O, ordinary body, B is a back body. It is inside the constant temperature enclosure. Now we define some parameters here. O is ordinary body, B is a black body, A is the area of each body, small a coefficient of absorption of body O, E is a coefficient of emission of body O, R is emissive power of body O, RB emissive power of black body, Q is the quantity of radiant heat energy incident on each body. Now here, listen, you remember one thing here. They are in the constant temperature enclosure. Listen, one thing you remember, temperature is constant here. When temperature increases, when body start absorbing heat, temperature increases. When body start emitting heat, temperature decreases. But temperature is constant means heat absorbed is equal to heat emitted. Then the temperature is constant. This we are using here. So this is a Prevost theory. This is a Prevost theory. By previous theory, temperature constant means heat absorbed is equal to heat emitted. So you can see here, I'm writing it for body O. For body O, the quantity of radiant heat absorbed per unit time per unit area is equal to quantity of radiant heat absorbed per unit time per unit area by body O. So we are written it is for body O, heat absorbed per unit time per unit area is equal to heat emitted per unit time per unit area. Here it is emitted. Huh? So you remember here, it's a little printing mistake. I can mark it here. So here it is. Heat emitted. So that you remember. Now here by a formula, we write what is the formula for heat absorbed? So you can see here, heat absorbed is given by formula A into Q because time is one, area is one. So otherwise here I can write A, Q, A, T. This is a heat absorbed. But here heat absorbed per unit time, per unit area. So A into Q. And heat, quantity of radiant heat energy emitted. Huh? This word is emitted. Per unit time, per unit area is given by emissive power formula it means emissive power so r now after this equation number one similarly we can write the same equation for body b for black body heat quantity of radiant heat absorbed per unit time per unit area is equal to quantity of radiant heat energy it's uh, emitted huh? again here it is emitted per unit time per unit area by a body b Again, same formula. Listen, for body B, the A is coming 1. Then I can write Q is equal to R here. I can write Q is equal to R. But R means here, for black body, we are written RB. is the emissive power. So here, yeah, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. We have to take the division of equation 1 and 2. So this Q, Q get cancelled. And finally... So this Q, Q get cancelled, we get A is equal to R upon RB. But here, R upon RB is uh, emissive power. Sorry, uh, is emissivity, coefficient of emission. R upon RB is coefficient of emission. Simply the ratio of emissive power of ordinary body to the emissive power of black body. So R upon RB is E. So instead of this R upon RB, I can write E. Then we get the final formula A is equal to E. And this is expression for this Kirchhoff's law. I hope everyone understood this. I hope everyone understood this. So I made a correction here, emitted, so that you have to note down. 
So very important article, you have to prepare it very well. So if you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like my video. If anything, you can leave a comment also.